Hi guys, this is TC Lee, and today I'm just going to have a quick look at the new monster set, the Lady Thorn monster set. Now this looks like a very good tank monster set, and the reason for that mainly is you can create a synergy that you can use yourself. Um, we're just going to have a quick look now. So for the one piece, we get maximum health. Uh, max health is always good for a tank because a lot of our main healing abilities scale off max health, our shields and things like that. So max health, a nice bonus. Item number two, when you cast an ability that costs health, you spawn a blood ball for 10 seconds. And this can occur once every 10 seconds. So we do use quite a few health abilities. Our main um, major resolve ability is a health cost and ability with balance. So that costs health. You also got Blood Altar, which is quite a frequently used skill by tanks from the Undaunted skill line. That also costs health. So either one of those mainly are going to be used for proccing this monster set. And the monster set itself, when you do um, use this energy, it causes major main on the enemy, reducing their damage done by 30%. So it's a huge debuff to the enemy, and that also stacks well with minor main, uh, meaning you'll get 45% damage reduction as they are additive. So upon casting a health ability, it will create a blood ball that um, creates a synergy that you can use that does 5k damage as an AoE. And it also does the major maim, reducing the damage done by 30%. Um, the enemies can only receive the major maim once every 30 seconds, but they can be hit with the synergy every 10 seconds. Um, you can use the synergy every 20 seconds on the synergy cooldown. But yeah, it, it looks like quite a good set. So let's just have a quick look. So when we cast a health ability, we create an orb. Now everybody can use this. So it's not just going to be you that can use it, anybody can use it. But obviously as a tank, we usually stood um, one side of the boss and the group would be stood the other side. So when we cast this, this is going to be a great way to keep up Alkosh, especially for groups where the incoming synergies are not reliable, or to guarantee the uptime on Alkosh. So when there isn't any synergies available, you can cast this and you can provide your own Alkosh by using this synergy if needed. So you just use it, boom, and it hits the enemy, and it hits, um, and it does damage, um, and it creates uh, five seconds of major maim. You can spot it again after ten seconds, but you can't use the synergy because obviously there is a twenty-second uh, synergy cooldown uh, once it's available again, so you can use it again. So this is going to be a very reliable way to maintain Alkosh, and it's also going to be a really good way to debuff hard-hitting enemies. So. When you're in a fight with a hard-hitting mechanic, um, let's let's say for example you're in Asylum Sanctorium and you tank in Saint Olms, he's about to start doing uh, the fire mechanic and execute. So you could proc your blood orb, wait for the fire mechanic to start. When he starts doing the fire, activate it on him, reduce the damage by 30%, and that will mean your group takes 30% less damage. Um, and for groups that are progressing. Solemn Sanctorium, for example, that might keep them alive. And then the good thing is that that mechanic happens approximately every 20 to 30 seconds. So you can have the orb ready again as soon as the mechanic starts, activate the synergy, and debuff him, reducing the damage for your group. So it is going to be a very good set for, for two reasons. Obviously, the first reason being maintaining your Alkosh debuff um, if the incoming synergies are unreliable, and two, Reducing the damage from the enemies in, in a very reliable way and, and a timed way where you can time when you want to debuff the enemy for hard hitting fights and it should increase the survivability for a lot of groups. Um, five seconds is quite a long debuff. Um, if you remember the old Vicosa used to be a three second debuff but it was very difficult to manage Vicosa because if you accidentally bashed a target with Vicosa on you'd absolutely waste the buff whereas with this you can spawn the uh, the blood orb and you can just wait for the mechanic and then just use it when it's needed. Um, so you're able to time that perfectly. As long as nobody else comes along and uses it instead of you, you should be perfect. So that monster set is going to be from one of the new dungeons, um, the veteran Castle Thorn. For me that looks like it's going to be a very very good and a very useful monster set for a lot of groups. 
So there we go. Uh, let me know what you think about the new monster set in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.